All right, welcome to part 10. I'm um, going to be painting some more today, and I'm going to be using my watercolor pencils to just add more color wash to it to kind of intensify the color. And I'm going to be working on the, um, the black pattern bars, um, making a little more contrast in those. And I'm also going to be working on the scales, uh, uh, not scales, the fins, I'm sorry. And um, I sprayed these when I airbrushed the body but um, you know, I wanted them to be a, a grayish green, but they're a little too green and a little too light. So I'm gonna take them a little bit to the darker gray side, and then I will also be putting the spots on that. So I hope, hopefully I can get all that in this segment. But anyway, um, tell me what you think. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And uh, I'm going to get the camera turned around here and get started on this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this watercolor pencil, and I'm just going to go in here, and I'm going to put some, lay some color down in here. Just, I'm just scribbling it on. And then I take my brush, get my paper towel over here, take my brush and wet it. And I just want it damp. And then I just start wetting that color, getting it built in. And then I forgot to bring my hair dryer out because I I use a hair dryer to blow it in between because once it gets damp, I can't color over it again. So, So I'll do that over and over again on both sides. And then um, and then when I get it up to where I want it, I will start adding the black contrast to the to the pattern bars here. So I will do the rest of that off camera.
All right, I've uh, got the dorsal, got the spots on the uh, Anlin dorsal fins. I did them first and kind of got to establish where they were going to be. And then I went over and put the little dark streaks in it. And uh, now I'm just going back over the uh, spots to uh, reestablish where they were. Let's make them stand out more. Might be a little too bright. I think they are. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna tone it down a little bit, which means I might have to go over those again. But I'm using these little micro applicators. Uh, it makes a perfect little dot. A lot easier than using a brush. Um, let me start on this one because I'm gonna have to go over that one again. And I'm not using pure white. Yeah, that's that's better. I'm not using pure white. I'm just using a a yellowish, greenish, light gray. On a real crappie fin, these would be almost transparent. Um, but unless you're doing it with with a uh, Lexan or acrylic fin, you can't get these transparent on wood, so you just, you have to kind of just get it as best you can. So I'm trying to trying to kind of match the color that it would be if it was maybe in water. And they're not all spotty looking either. Some of them are kind of just oblong, almost square. So I'm gonna finish all these and then I'll come back and show you those when they're done. Okay, so I've washed on uh, several more layers of color here. And now I'm going to go back in and start identifying and bringing back out the pattern of the bars here. And, um, and then I will probably start adding some highlighted details to the fins uh the pectoral fins here anyway and i've also added in if it can be seen or not here tiny tiny little red streaks that indicate like blood vessels coming near the surface again that's not something you would see at first glance but it's just another layer of detail that's uh, that I'm adding to it. I thought hopefully it'll get noticed by the judges. So um, again, I'm going to start laying back in the color of the patterns here with the charcoal pencil. This is a uh, oh, that's the wrong one. 4B. I want the extra soft. There it is. But I'll just go back there here and start adding these little dark highlights or actually not highlights the dark accents to the each scale and then I'll blend them in with a brush a little soft brush and 
So I'll uh, show a little bit of this and then uh, we'll start on something else in a minute. Okay, I've got, um, I've done some final watches, I think, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the color gradient now from the top to bottom. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back in here with my uh, charcoal pencil. This is the uh, 6B Extra Soft. And I'm just going to go in through here and darken in some of these scales here for the pattern so I'm gonna do that here for a few minutes and then I'll get back to you When this dries, I will go over it with a real light brushed white or, or maybe the, one of the colors I used on the inside of the mouth, just a lighter color to um, highlight the tips of the rough ends to make it appear like tiny little teeth. They're kind of like sandpaper. When you're catching fish all day long, your thumb ends up being real rough because of the teeth of the fish. And we'd call it the bass thumb.
gonna take if you look real close here you can see little tiny red where I took a paintbrush with red from this as a matter of fact and just painted tiny tiny little streaks of uh, blood vessels so now I need to do that a couple places inside the mouth it's going to be tough, and so I, and you probably won't be able to see that because I had my hands down here in it. So I'll do that off camera. All right, now I'm going to take um, some of this Deco Art sells a. It's called Enchanted. It's an iridescent top coat, just set in a clear acrylic. So it gives it a um, an iridescent. I don't know if that'll show up. You can see some of the iridescence it really reflects light and I'll put some on the plate here and then I'll take a, a brush and again this is probably not going to be seen on camera and I just want to dab a little bit on the brush not very much and then I'm going to go over the body of the fish and it gives it just a little bit of an iridescent sheen. And this one I'm using is uh, the first one is turquoise. And I'm putting just a little bit of a turquoise shine just on the top tips of the scales. And I'll do that on both sides. And I wish it would show on the camera. I just don't know that it will. Because you really need sun, actual sunlight to uh, activate it and make it show it off. So I'll put, I'm going to put a little bit on top of the head here too. Look on the back. And it doesn't take much at all. Just a tiny little bit. Then I have green that I'll go down the sides with just a little bit. And then I have some blue that I will coat the belly white parts with. And, and I'm doing just the scale area. I'm not doing the fins with it or um, or the gill covers here. I'm just I'm just doing just the scale area. So this is the green. Do a little bit of the green. I got my paint shirt on here. It's much easier than reaching for a paper towel and wiping it off. So now I'm going to take the green and it's going to go down here in the light areas in between the bars here. A little bit on the cheeks. Like I say, you probably can't see that. It might show up a little bit. I'll turn it around in here. Oh, you can see it a little bit there. Get just the right light on it, and it really sets it in the sun. Let me do the blue here. I'll let my brush go. some blue out like I said it didn't take very much at all just a tiny 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 little bit and then I'm going to go over the white with it just the lighter areas And again, I'm not doing it on the non-scale areas. Alright, looks good. Let's see if that'll show up. Yeah, you can see it a little bit there. And a little bit of that stuff goes a long way. You can overdo it. Yeah, you can see a little bit. 
All right. I think I am uh, about done with the painting. I don't see. I've looked it over. I've been on it about 12 hours today. And I don't really see anything else that I need to do other than go back and put the little dots over some of the lighter scales that I covered up with the uh, the extra washes. So, and I also need to go ahead and do a reveal on the eyes because I probably will need to paint around the eyes just a little bit. So let me do that. Drum roll, please. Put the uh, masking fluid on there to make it easier to get off. And there we go. I just want to be careful. I don't want to cut into the paint. In the past, I just used some Vaseline on the eyes to keep the paint from sticking to them. But I would have to reapply it every once in a while or I would wipe it off and get it on me. So this time I bought some masking fluid. It's a, a um, oh man. People use it for painting, watercolor people, or watercolor artists use it for uh, masking areas off that they don't want the paint to get on. I'm screwing this up big time. Y'all have to touch up a little bit on the, around the eyes here a little bit. Brings it to life, doesn't it? Okay, I'm done with the painting. I still have to clear coat it and then mount it to the habitat base. I'm going to clear coat it off camera and then I'll do one more video in this series and mount it to the habitat base. All the components for it are done. I just had to put it all together so it really shouldn't take that long. I can probably do it in a day and uh, but I'll show you how I mount it to that uh, on that video series or on that, on that last video. Uh, there's some things I would do different on this one uh, or I wish I had done different. Um, First, remember I messed up on the wood grain on these. I cut them on the wrong wood grain and I paid for that by snapping that fin off. Um, I had a subscriber send me a suggestion on the eyes that I should coat the back of them with a liquid latex before I mount them with the epoxy putty. Epoxy putty is a basically a resin. It's a two-part resin in putty form and it does have a chemical reaction, so it, it could adversely re affect the eye paint on the back of the eyes. So to to avoid that, from here on, I'm going to start coating the back of the eyes with uh, liquid latex. Uh, thanks, Jan, for sending me that tip. Um, I'm going to continue 
using the watercolor pencils and the charcoal to, to finish the painting on these. I, I really like the way that it turned out. Uh, the color depth is, is much more than it would have been if I had just painted it. The um, I'm still going to use the airbrush to do the base coats, but I will be using that technique with the watercolor pencils and, and doing the several layers uh, to build up that color for that. But other than that, um, it's done. Um, I'm going to take a day off tomorrow, and I'm going fishing, and I'm hopefully catch some crappie this size. And uh, so I may have a video on that uh, in the next few days. But I appreciate y'all watching, and um, pl please subscribe. And if you would, hit that thumbs up button for me. And uh, I will see y'all on part 12, mounting the bass to the habitat base. And then look for my the new series on the largemouth bass. But again, I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you later.